Hey, what's up guys? John here. About a year and a half ago, I put out a video saying that we are in the greatest economic rug pull of all time. And I laid out in this video right here, stock market and real estate bubble will burst. Here's my plan. Now in that video, I lay out exactly what I thought was happening. I said that a lot of tech CEOs, a lot of very, very wealthy individuals are liquidating their stock portfolios at the all time high in the stock market with record high liquidity inside of the economy, record low interest rates. Everyone was extremely bullish except the smartest people in the room and the wealthiest people in the room. And I laid out the case in point that likely interest rates are gonna start to rise, the economy is gonna start to contract, and we're gonna see a massive rug pull in which is going to decimate the middle class. I lay it out in this video, and now what we're starting to see is something pretty shocking with record high consumer debt, record high interest rates, record high credit card debt, real wages starting to fall, bankruptcies are increasing. This entire situation around the great resignation is all going through a massive change. In this video, I'm going to lay out what I think is going to happen next, what's currently happening, and what you should do to prepare and plan for the future. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's going to share this content to educate more people about what's really going on. And today's video is sponsored by GreatCreditFast.com. GreatCreditFast.com, my credit repair company. I have a team of experts in-house that are working miracles for people. So if you want to fix your credit, this isn't something that happens overnight, but if you have problems on your credit report, we will definitely love to give you a free consultation to go over your report, tell you what we think, how long we think it could possibly take, what the process would look like for your specific situation. And if it works and it makes sense for you, we'd love to help you. And if not, we'd love to give you some free information at GreatCreditFast.com, 561-430-5100. Take a look at this. So right now, Americans owe a trillion dollars in credit card debt. The average interest rate is 24%. 24%. That's the highest since Reagan, right? A typical American household now carries $10,000 in credit card debt by one estimate. If that doesn't sound like a lot of debt, try paying it off at 250 bucks a month with 24% interest rate. You'll be making payments until 2030 and you'll spend a total of $20,318, twice what you owed, and that assumes you never use the card again. It's hard to build wealth when you're paying 20% interest every month. The nation's credit card debt stands at $986 billion, according to the Fed. The figure climbed by $250 billion in the last two years. Some other estimates are higher. Wallet Hub puts it at one2 trillion at the end of 2022. Just two years ago, the national credit card narrative seemed headed in the opposite direction. Card balances declined from 850 billion. Well, that was because of all the stimulus and these record low interest rates. It allowed, you know, stock portfolios, everything to climb up unorganically and, uh, and people were able to pay off debt. But some other things that are happening right now is we're starting to see inflation. Inflation is costing the average American household $433 per month. $433 per month. We're starting to see layoffs tick up. Probably by the end of today or tomorrow, this should be about 200,000 employees laid off so far in 2023. Now, what is the number for 2022? 164,000, right? So we will likely have, if we continue increasing interest rates, somewhere around 500,000 employees laid off by the end of 2023. 500,000 employees by the end of 2023 or close to it. And so you start to look at how this is going to start to trickle down. Think about everyone that gets paid from these employees. Think about dry cleaners. Think about uh, even dog grooming. Think about you know car dealerships. All of these small industries that are attached here. Think about the stock portfolios, the stock valuations, the asset values of these companies, all of which are going to be impacted. But one of the biggest, I believe one of the biggest scams was this great resignation. We were sold this every, you know, left, right, and center that everyone should, you know, go leave their job and, and go somewhere else and get more money. But, you know, maybe the, in theory that was true back then, but fundamentally and structurally it didn't really make any sense. Because if you leave one job to go to another job for 20% more, when the economy goes through a shift, now not everyone thought it was going to, uh, maybe it's just my perspective, but when the economy goes through a shift, what do people do? They cut costs. And when they cut costs, what do they likely do? They look to reduce wages, reduce expenses. And so if someone's entering a new position for 20% more, and then we step into a situation where they're going through cost cuts, and then they start going on Indeed and all these other uh, job websites and start to shop around for 
labor, what are they going to do? They're going to look for people that are inside of the same skill set that have a similar track record or a better track record and that are less money, right? And so it's a race to the bottom. And what companies, what are they going to reward? They're going to reward loyalty first. At least if it were my company, I would reward the person that was with me the longest, that has done the best job, that has uh, you know, been there, that has supported me. And I think that we're going to start to see a lot of companies start to lay off and start to position themselves accordingly. Bankruptcy filings increased across all chapters in March. So a total of 42,366 new bankruptcies are filed in March, up 17%. Year-over-year commercial filings up 24%. Total individuals uh, filings up 17%. So you're starting to see the writing on the wall. And we're starting to see this situation. Fed's favorite inflation gauge just heated up, and that could mean another rate hike. Now, I believe we are going to see more rate hikes. I think it's going to be higher, and it's going to likely be uh, for longer than most people are anticipating. And so when we look at historically where interest rates were, interest rates, they were never at 2%. They were never at 3%, never at 3.5% for an extended period of time. They were at 6 7 8 9%. But how does that hold when we have 17 trillion in outstanding consumer debt? When we have a job market that's starting to dwindle, when we start to have an economy that's changing and inflation increasing, we're likely going to see more and more and more defaults across you know, all the different things. Uh, auto loans, credit cards, uh, residential mortgages, commercial mortgages. And so what do banks do at that point in time? Well, they start to tighten up lending. That's what they do. And you look at this, like real wages are decreasing. Real average hourly earnings decreased 0.5% seasonally adjusted from April 2022 to April 2023. So if you have a situation where wages are going down and the cost of living are going up and the cost of service debt is going up and the job market is starting to sag, what are, we, what are you going to start to see here, right? You're going to likely start to see banks say, you know what, maybe we should start to tighten up lending. And that's exactly what Janet Yellen is suggesting. And she says, Yellen says U.S. banks may tighten lending to negate need for more Fed hikes. So when she says that, you know, basically banks can handle this inflation fight, they can handle this inflation fight if they just tighten up lending. So that would mean if you have credit card debt at 24%, 25%, 30%, some of these cards, and they start to tighten up lending, those balance transfer offers are going to go out the window, right? All these opportunities to get out of debt are going to go out the window. All these opportunities to invest in real estate are going to get a little bit more challenging. But I saw something here that was uh, shocking. This came from, uh, let's see here. This was from Britain. Britain is getting so desperate to tame inflation, it's talking about food price caps. This stuff doesn't surprise me. This is 41 minutes ago. This stuff does not surprise me. We're going to start to see some really radical things come out in the name of the greater good for, uh, for inflation, for cost of living, for affordability, for uh, all these different things. We're going to start to see this. So I believe we're in the greatest wealth transfer of all time. I believe that if you're smart, you're looking at the writing on the wall and you're positioning and preparing accordingly. That's what I believe. That's my true belief. I think we're going to see incredible opportunities because what do people do when they get financially stressed? They sell things, they sell their homes, they sell businesses, they sell uh, watches, artwork, cars, they sell whatever they have to sell to make ends meet. That's what they do. And when we have a situation like what we're looking at right now, I was listening to a podcast earlier today when they're talking about Salesforce and what Salesforce is going through right now. Salesforce is in really, really big trouble. And the conversation was, will Salesforce go bankrupt? Now, I'm not saying it will, but that was the conversation that these people were having. And you start to look at the writing on the wall. When you have these big, big companies facing immense stress, what does that really mean for them? If that means that for them, what does that mean for the smaller guy, right? For the smaller business? I think a lot of businesses and a lot of individuals are in way worse financial positions than, uh, than they lead on to uh, the general public, to, the, to their friends, to their family. People keep this stuff private. And I think that that's what's going to likely happen for a, you know, for a short period, but it's going to get hard to ignore, impossible to ignore in the very near future. So if you're a smart, savvy investor, an entrepreneur, um, huge opportunities, I believe, coming right ahead. Uh, that's another reason why I'm doing the podcast, to, to network and to have conversations with and discuss and talk about what's really happening in the economy. Because this is, we're stepping into this uh, situation. This economy is never going to go back to 2018, 2019. 
uh, ever again. Because what's going to happen, this is my belief, what's going to happen with this upcoming recession is that it's going to be unlike any recession we've ever had in the past. Because in the past, you came out of a downturn with human labor. In this upcoming recession, we are going to come out of it with robotics, with technology, with automations, with all these different things, which are going to reduce demand for human labor. And as that is occurring, you're starting to see a lot of these tech companies outsourcing talent in India, in you know the East. They're starting to pull cheap labor. That's what they're starting to do. And so we're starting to see this situation where the world is no longer you know, located in, you know, of the opportunities located in just one location. It's going to be spread out. What do you think about this entire situation? Prepare accordingly. Massive opportunities coming for those that have great credit. My belief is as banks start to lend money, what are they going to look for? They're going to look for a borrower that's going to offer the least amount of risk. And if you're stepping to the table with a 500 or 600 or low 700 credit score, the odds of you getting that loan are going to be a hell of a lot harder and most likely not going to happen. Uh, look at 2008, 2009, 2010. What did they, what did the banks actually do? They tightened up so much that only people that offered the least amount of risk got the financing. And those people that invested during that period, they made all the money. Drop your comments below. Hit the like button. Subscribe here. We'd love to help you fix your credit at greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. Give us a call at 561-430-5900. And uh, I have a call-in show that's going to be happening every single week. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to be able to uh, call in. We'll be able to talk talk about the economy, talk about what's happening, uh, and then also the podcast every Friday uh, on this channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video.